Let's learn how to create a knockout design in Silhouette Studio in under three minutes. Hi, I'm Brenda Lambert. I'm a TJC licensed instructor for Silhouette. You found your way to Silhouette Success. This video is part of the Quick Tips playlist. You're going to want to check out the rest of the videos in the playlist when we finish up here. Time is limited, so let's do this. You can see here that I have typed out the word silhouette in one font. It's a nice bold font. And then I've typed out Cameo 5 in a cursive font. For this design, I want Cameo 5 to set right on top of silhouette like that. Now I could cut these out separately and just layer them on top, but with the letters underneath Cameo 5, it's going to create bumps in our vinyl. It's not going to look nice and it will not last as long that way. So let's solve the problem. I'm going to go ahead and click on Cameo 5 that selects this text. Head over to the offset panel and click on offset. You can see that pulls in some red lines here, but that is way too thick. We can adjust the distance here. Just click on the down arrow until it looks right. We just want a thin outline. That looks good, so I'm going to click on Apply. Then I'm going to come over here, right click, and choose to Group. At this point, I'm going to move Cameo 5 out of the way. And I'm going to color in the offset so that you can see it better. You don't really need to do that step for this design, but it is easier to see. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab both of these elements, come over to the Modify panel, and I am going to select Subtract. That has made the cutouts for my cursive text but it is also separated all of these bits and pieces of silhouette. So let's go ahead, right click and group. And now we can take Cameo 5 and set it right back in place. Hit the thumbs up if you found that helpful. Don't forget to check out the playlist. And as always, go create something amazing. I'll see you in the next video.